Steven Jackson and the Falcons are running headlong into a big Week 2 matchup against Jackson's former team, the St. Louis Rams. Jackson, for one, is looking forward to it. Oh, I think it's going to be exciting. You know, I have to go out there and you know treat this game as, as a normal Sunday, like, you know, like I have the last 10 years of my career. Um, don't try to get caught up in the emotion of it. I want to make sure that I'm dialed in, that I'm focused, and um, going out there executing the game plan and playing at a high level. Steven Jackson found a huge hole. He's still on his feet. Steven Jackson ran well against the Saints, going for 77 yards on 11 carries. Quarterback Matt Ryan was impressed despite the outcome. We ran the ball effectively. Uh, we really did. Um, and, and we threw it effectively. It was just mistakes. Uh, in both uh, facets of the game at different parts throughout the game that, that kind of set us back. Here you go. The Falcons will need to cut down on those mistakes and look for ways to get Jackson more involved, even if he's not worried about his touches. No, I'm not disappointed. I understand that this team presents a lot of different weapons, and you know we have to spread the ball out, but um, the only thing I'm disappointed about is not coming up um, you know, with the win on Sunday. No matter how he's used, Jackson doesn't plan on taking it easy against his former team. Oh, it's definitely going to be competitive out there. Um, you know, no holds bar. No one's holding anything back. I've assured them that that, that you know they will see uh, <laughs> what they watched on Sundays for the last <laughs> you know five yeah nine years. So um, it won't be no brother-in-law situation going on Sunday. <laughs> Stephen Jackson hopes to still be smiling after making his Atlanta debut with his new team. He says it's important to make sure his old team knows he still has something left. From the Georgia Dome, I'm Chris Orr.